Hello there, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse, and we are making our way through the book of Matthew, and it's been such a blessing to hear the words of Jesus in this trying time. I wanted to share with you briefly that um, you've been on my heart over um, my sabbatical, and as I've been thinking about the Pray Every Day audience and just how amazing you all are. Um, I know that there are some listening today who are deeply discouraged, who are battling uh, anxiety, maybe depression, and um, I just wanna let you know that you matter on this earth, and I'm so grateful you're here. And there is a group of people around you, and maybe you feel estranged from them, but they love you, and you are necessary on this earth. It's important that you keep breathing. It's important that you keep moving. It's important that you stay here. And so um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm grateful for you. All right, we're in Matthew 22, verses 15 through 22 in the modern English version of the Bible. This is what it says. Then the Pharisees went and took counsel to entangle him in his words. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians saying, Teacher, we know that you are truthful and teach the way of God truthfully and are swayed by no one, for you do not regard the person of men. Tell us then, what do you think? Is it lawful to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus perceived their wickedness and said, Why test me, you hypocrites? Show me the tax money. They brought him a denarius. He said to them, Whose image and whose is this image and inscription? They said to him, Caesar's. Then he said to them, Render therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. When they heard these words, they were amazed and left him and went on their way. Mind if I pray for you? Jesus, thank you so much that you're intelligent, that your intelligence, it's something we don't think about too much, but your intelligence far surpasses all of ours and your intellect is amazing and your rhetoric is beautiful and strong and your um, ways of telling cautionary tales are uh, really clever, Lord Jesus. And so thank you for this interaction that we read about today about paying taxes and about rendering unto Caesar what is Caesar's. I know that um, when I have to pay my taxes as a, you know, a, a little corporation here in Texas, um, I'm not really excited about it, <laughs> but um, I also understand that uh, you have placed in authority the government over us to take care of us and to do um, things like pave roads and uh, health care and all sorts of crazy things that we all need. And so, Lord, help us to um, remember the words of the book of Romans about obeying and submitting to our governing authorities. Lord, I know that there's a time to stand up against that, and there's a time to uh, render under Caesar what is Caesar. So we pray for discernment. We pray for um, knowing when to stand up and knowing when to acquiesce. Jesus, I pray for those who... Um, the ones that I, I talked about earlier in this podcast, just that feel really broken and uh, broken apart by this world, or maybe they're consumed by cares or worries or fears, or maybe they can't sleep at night. That's certainly my issue. Um, things keep me up at night. And maybe they're pa battling sickness or economic insecurity and fear, or just having a general feeling of the world is falling and the sky is falling. Lord, would you bring peace right now? I pray for your shalom. Um, that that wholehearted kind of uh, holistic type of peace, mind, soul, body, strength, that you would pour out your peace on my friend today, that they would have a moment of solitude and hear your voice and hear that you are for them, not against them, that your love is steadfast and will not be taken away, that you will never leave, you will never forsake, you will walk alongside, you will be near, you will you will give of yourself to those who ask of it. You will for, you will excuse me, you will forgive our sins. You will um, empower us with strength to live throughout every day. And Lord, you are also the lifter of our heads. So I pray for my friend whose head is bowed down today. And I pray that you would be the lifter of their heads. I pray that you would encourage. I pray that you would send a friend who would bring a message of hope. And Lord, we pray that for ourselves as well. Help us to know the people in our lives who are suffering and help us to be a word of encouragement to them. Open our eyes today to opportunities to serve others, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. You are a huge blessing to me, and I am thankful for you. Um, Go in peace, my friend. Go in shalom.